It's time to name and shame Berkeley de Vere, Hampton Gardens in Leeds. This house was a mess. This is the front elevation. Customers only just got the keys, temporary handrails, no date for when the proper handrails are coming, plot board still on, canopy is absolutely filthy. The house hadn't been cleaned inside either, but the canopy is damaged and there's glue on the wall which needs cleaning off. Around the front door, the mastic was, I don't know who'd done it, but he certainly wasn't a qualified tradesman. It was a mess. They've used brown up the sides of the front door and then along the top, they've used white. Don't get that really, how they use one colour or the other. But just look at the state of that sealant on the door casing. Absolutely ridiculous. Down the right hand side of the house should have been a fence. Damaged dark stone sills on the front windows. Absolutely shocking this house. Brick slips underneath the headers. None of the front windows had been sealed. Every one of them hadn't been masticed. This house has been signed off by Premier Guarantee or an absolute joke looking at this. This is ridiculous. Garage hadn't been finished. This house has been handed over. Premier Guarantee is happy to sign this off. And the developer happy to move in. Weep holes full of mortar, pointing missing. Absolutely disgusting. In the electric box, it just smashed it out. You can see the insulation beads inside the cavity. That needs repairing, sealing, so they don't get any infestation in the cavity. Just look at this, this is finished. What a mess down the side of the house. That's where the info should be on the fence. Just wait till we get to the back garden. It's like a demolition site. Blocks, stone, old bricks, rebar, not been leveled, not been rotivated, absolutely shocking. And then we get the Great Wall of China that's filthy, never been cleaned. And there's the garage. This customer's moved in. It's been signed off as accessible. Absolutely shocking. Ridiculous that this house has gone over. Again, patio doors, none of the sills have been sealed underneath. Brown mastic up the sides. No idea who'd done it, it was disgraceful. White across the top, either used brown or white all the way around. In the hallway, the slab hadn't been pointed up against the front door. Absolutely shocking. Thermal cracking, you're getting slabs now and again, but this is excessive. This is more than thermal cracking. This needs to be rectified. Again, Premier Guarantee is happy to sign it off. The builder will go along with it all day long. Downstairs cloaks around the soil pipe. Needs filling in, but look at the back of it. It's not even been piped. The joiner covered it with panels. Utility doors damaged. But wait, hey, let's just not bother painting the understairs cupboard door. Let's just leave it undercoated. What a mess. Debris underneath the worktop. Absolutely shocking. Just look at that. No cleanliness whatsoever. Painting missing. And the expanding form gets a showing again. Base unit, shelf broken, damaged end panel. This house is absolutely disgusting. Rear utility door. Just look at the paintwork and no filling. You can see the angle bead, paint runs, plaster still sticking out underneath the hinges. Ridiculous that this couple has been expected to move into this house. Just look at the state of it. Rear door, again, slab's not been filled. But the door thresholds holding water, no drain holes. Skirting board, look at the state of that. Bottom newel post, 17 millimetres out of plumb. Absolutely ridiculous. Joan is going to have a bit of fun with that one. Devere, you should be ashamed.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Let's hope we don't get too many like this one.